burns in me, burns in me that does not bear fruit, he takes it away. And every branch that bears fruit, he purges it that it may bear more fruit. I love it. I love it. Again, those of you who uh, just tuned in, we may have may have had a few difficulties there with the Wi-Fi connection, but maybe you could have you could hear us. But just in case you did not, we are in John. The Gospel according to St. John, the 15th chapter, and Brother Quran just read verses 1 and 2. But, but Brother Quran, what really stands out in it, I am the true vine, my father is the husband. And he says, every branch in me that beareth not fruit, mm -hmm. he taketh away. So, so he introduces a concept of the branch. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't until verse Five, of I believe, let's find it, when he says, you are the branch. What verse is that? He says that, okay, verse five. Mm -hmm. See, he, he, he deals with the branch being a part of him mm -hmm. in verse two. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't until verse five that he gave me the good news. Because mm -hmm. he let me know who that branch was. Yeah. In verse five, it says, I am the vine. What do you say, Brother Karan? You are the branch. My God. Yes. Out of all the great I am. I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the door, the good shepherd. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. This is the only one where Christ says, I'm the vine, but you, my friend, yeah. you are my branch. Yeah. What a joy it is Praise to know God. your place and relationship with the true vine. Yeah. Because, and you got to know how you relate to the vine. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't know your place in the kingdom mm -hmm. and how you relate to the king of kings and the lords of the lords, you would try to be what you're not. Yeah. And as long as you don't know your place in the kingdom, you will be trying to be the vine when you're only supposed to be the branch. Yeah. My God. So now if you're trying to be the vine or think you should be the vine, especially as men, you know, we yeah. run things, yeah. we the source of life. We may uh, think about the scripture that God created us with dominion over the world. Yeah. Now, because we got dominion, we think we divine. Yeah. When God says, I'm the vine. Yeah. Matter of fact, he says, the Father God is the husbandman. The Father's Son, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, is the true vine. Yeah. And you, being my son, is only the branch. Yeah. This is a demonstration. And as the branch, I don't know about you, but the last time I checked, a branch just sit there and sit still. Yeah. <laughs> a branch just sit there and sit still yeah. and, and because it's a branch The fruit that it bears Does not come from the branch itself It comes from the seed That the vine distributes my, 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 my. So Quran It's important we as men Before I even talk about the fact that God uses us That we understand our relationship In the kingdom because if not, we're too busy trying to be the vine and we're trying to heal ourselves, bless ourselves, encourage ourselves, be the source of life. When God says, I'm your true vine, I will give you everything you need. Everything you need. Hmm. So men out there understand this. As the branch, your job is to abide in him. And of course, there's going to be days where you feel so left alone. Yeah. So, so discouraged that you will be like David. He encouraged himself in the Lord. <laughs> he knew that he was still in God's hand, even though he had lost it all. His men was getting ready to fight against him, his own men. And the Bible says David encouraged himself in the Lord. But David knew who he was. He knew who he belonged to. And he knew the battle was not his. Stand in favor. Stand in favor. So he goes to God and he says, God... If I pursue and try to get my wives and children back, if I pursue, will I recover all? And God answered and said, yes. Yes, my branch. Yes. You will recover all. Because the vine will do the work. Of so tonight, men, as we tap into the fact that we are men that God uses, I want to deal with two key things that we're going to close out tonight on a powerful note. Brother Kamran is here to represent those of us who are, are uh, the next generation. I think this brother has, has truly represented the next generation of the kingdom in a most powerful way. Brother Quran, I commend you for your heart, for your dedication and commitment this to kingdom of Jesus. The uh, Lord has chosen you and put a great anointing on you, young man. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. And I don't want you to take that lightly. Yes. I want you to be ready and prepared for the next dimension that God is getting ready to take you to. And in doing so, 
I need you to know who you are. Yeah. I don't want anything, absolutely anything, to cause doubt in the fact that God chose you to do great things. Yes. And if we can get that across to you, we can get that across to millions of other men who are tuned in tonight, who you will come across cast. with, yes. and help them to understand that, hey, no matter your deficiencies, yes. God chose you. Yes. Can we skip down real quickly to the 16th verse in that same text, Brother Quran? Read that 16th verse for me. And the 16th verse reads, you did not choose me, mm. but I chose you. One more time. You did not choose me, but I chose wait you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I heard the word. I, I, I heard the preacher preach the gospel of Jesus. I went to the church that night. I, I didn't even want to go. I went anyway. I heard that word. I got up out my seat when he gave the invitation to Christ. I walked down the aisle. I shook his hand. I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. I got dressed up in the white t-shirt, the jeans, got baptized the next Sunday. Yeah. I did that. What are you talking about? He chose me. I chose no, you didn't. No. He chose you. Yes. He gave you the desire to go to church that night. Yes. yes. <laughs> he, he, he gave yes. you the understanding to even receive the word that was preached that night. Yes. He gave you the unction and the nudge on your heart by the power of his Holy Spirit yes. to get up out your seat, to walk down that aisle. Yes. He gave you the humility to shake the preacher's hand and say to him, I need a savior because yes. I can't save myself. He even made a way for you to, to, to get to church the following Sunday to get in that cold water and to prepare that you have received him yes. as both Lord and Savior. He chose you before the foundation of the world. My God. While you was in the womb. While you was in the womb. This yes. is a demonstration you have not chosen me, he says, but I have chosen you. Yes. Keep reading that. But I have chosen you mm -hmm. and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain. Oh, 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 oh. You got to stop right there. That your fruit should do what? Remain. My God, I'm speaking to some men tonight. See, I didn't even deal with the purging process that Brother Quran read. Because you're used to the purging process. Well, as men, we know purging. We know what it means to lose stuff. Yeah. We know what it means to be cut on. Yeah. We know what it means to be betrayed by friends who we thought were walking with us for the rest my of our life. We know what it means to have our heart broken by women who we thought we couldn't live my without. God. We know what it means to lose jobs that we didn't pour our all to yeah. and they just let us go. We know what it means to start businesses that we just know going to change the world around and we lose them in the second year. We know what it means to be purged. My God. But what God blesses me with, he says, after I purge you, you start bringing forth more fruit. He said, I need you to understand this. There comes a level where the purging ceases. Hmm. Oh my God. My God. My <laughs> see, see, I'm saying something now because I need you to differentiate between being cleansed and being purged. Look at the two verses in the beginning. It says in verse 3, it says, now ye are clean through the word. See, at first you had to be cut on yeah. by being purged yeah. <laughs> because you were, you were in such a state of friction and, and, and unusefulness to the kingdom that Christ had to cut on you, yeah. cut some people away from yeah. you, cut some relationships away from yeah. you, some distractions away from you. But he said, now that I got your attention, the way I'm going to cleanse you now is not by cutting on you, but by putting my word inside of yes. you. Yes. And that word will cleanse you. That word will cleanse you. Yes. Isn't it exciting to know that the that the cleansing process of God is through His Word? My God. So those of you who are, who, who are tuning in tonight, who have taken time out of your schedule to even to even log on, to call in, whatever source you're using, this Word, the Word of God, is what will cleanse you. Yes. The Word of God is what will take you to a place in Him that you are confident in who you are. He says, I have brought you to that no more cutting back this dimension, your fruit shall remain. Amen. Read that one more time from the Brother Quran. You did not choose me, but I chose you, appointed you that you should go and bear fruit. My God. And that your fruit should remain. That it should remain. God, thank you for bringing us into a season where it remains. Yes. 
So, so I need to I need to release somebody tonight. There's somebody out there walking in fear. Oh, you're walking in fear every day of your life, thinking that because you've always gotten used to losing everything, you're about to lose this. But the devil is a lie. I want you to walk in confidence that you are God's chosen man. He chose you. He gave you a special assignment, a divine assignment to represent him. And this season in your life, your fruit shall remain. Yes. Yes. Let go of all your doubt, your fear, your disbelief, your hesitation. Go for that career. Go for that business. Go for that ministry. Go for that woman. It's time to get married now. There's no more shacking up. It's time to go ahead and seal the deal. It's yours. She is yours. God declared that she is yours. And it's your fruit shall remain. No more fear, man. Know who you are. Because understand, the reason that Christ is dealing with this text right here is because he's getting ready to leave. This is the last I am before he gets crucified mm -hmm. on Calvary's cross. And he's looking at his 12 disciples. Mm -hmm. 11, which is going to be with him, one is going to betray him. Mm -hmm. And he magnifies to the 11, really, to say, hey, your fruit shall remain. Yeah. He said, there's somebody that's going to get cut away from this group. But there's somebody in here that needs to understand that I have chosen you and that your fruit shall remain. See, when you're in a group of people who represent Christ and you begin to look of others, have yeah. you been blessed this tonight? This is a demonstration oh, of wire. I've been blessed cast. tremendously. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for having me. Hallelujah. Scott. We pray that you have been blessed as well. As we leave tonight, we want to remind you that uh, even with some minor complications we may have had tonight, we apologize for them, but we hope that you were blessed by the hearing of God's word. We will rebroadcast this segment as well as our Saturday segments from the training conference. Please, please watch the Saturday's My rebroadcast. God. My God. Please, you will be tremendously blessed of and, and tremendously taught. And it's, it's, words cannot explain what God. took place. On Saturday, on this past Saturday, on the 14th of December. God truly, Please. his spirit was truly present. Yes. He was truly present and we had an awesome time yes. in the Lord. Yes. Until the next time we see you, we want to offer Christ to you by simply accepting him as both Lord and Savior of your life. And it doesn't take a complicated three-hour prayer to do so. No. It's as simple as this. Father, in the name of Jesus, this is I acknowledge of my sins against you. Against you. I acknowledge that I'm a sinful being who needs a Savior. So Christ, I also acknowledge you as being the only begotten Son of the Father who died for my sins. So I accept you now as both Lord and Savior of my life. Come into your heart, come into my heart, and have your way. In Jesus' name, amen. Even with that simple prayer today, whether you're at your computer five weeks this from the broadcast of the show, and cast. you receive that simple prayer, you have allowed Christ both lordship yes. and salvation of your heart and your soul. Now we encourage you to get into a good church home. Get this word in you. It yes. will cleanse you. Yes. Join us. We're here every Monday night at 7 o'clock p.m. at 4939 Jamestown Avenue, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And if you're not a Louisianian, you can join us live online yeah. at lawoflife.tv. Every Monday, we'll be right here because we believe in the man this that you are. This is a demonstration of Wirecast. We'll see you then.